Inspired by post-punk comic books, skateboarding, and overall subculture, LA-based Braindead is a clothing brand with a mission to bring their bizarre and unique taste in art into tangible form. Founded in 2014, the brand is led by Kyle Ng and Ed Davis, a duo with an eye for the abnormal and an ambition for art. Braindead leans heavily on the staple of streetwear's past, the graphic t-shirt. But Braindead isn't just some old t-shirt company. I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com and in today's video, we'll go through how Braindead got their start and why they have so many fans to this day. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Liking and sharing the video is the best way to help us to continue to grow as a channel and we can't do it without you guys help. But with that being said, let's get into the story. Considering the strange nature of Braindead, it's not all that surprising that the concept of the brand itself began with a simple email from Kyle Ng to Ed Davis. Both Kyle and Ed came from interesting backgrounds before joining the initial collaborative project. Kyle Ng is well known for working with tech sportswear label AXS Technology, which heavily referenced the 60s and 70s California counterculture. Kyle also worked with accessories brand Formtex. Ed Davis, on the other hand, is an Australian native and is best known for his help with the early days of Melbourne's iconic Doomsday Store and the label Rat Brain. On one random day while working at AXS, Kyle Ng got a Rat Brain t-shirt as a gift, which inspired him because oddly it represented many of his own interests. So Kyle decided to reach out to the designer of the t-shirt, Ed Davis, through email and propose a collaborative effort between the two that could hopefully and eventually grow into a full-fledged brand. Now as one might be, after being contacted from the other side of the world by a stranger wanting to do business with you, Ed was slightly hesitant at first, but ultimately he decided to say F it and give it a try. And shortly after this brief communication, Brain Dead was born in 2014. Realizing that they had the same passions for things like B-movies, underground counterculture, and other bizarre concepts, heading into Brain Dead, Kyle was already disillusioned by fashion industry's attachment to consistently seasonal product releases, and he believed that each collection should organically grow on its own time. And this belief system has since served him well as Braindead's tendencies to avoid feeding into the continuous cycle of hype that surrounds more modern labels. Kyle and Ed recognize that a simple graphic t-shirt is the ultimate platform for messaging and they wanted their venture to be affordable and wearable to the public. The graphic t-shirt's perfect canvas allowed the duo to display their passion for experimentation and discovery. To them, Braindead is much more than a clothing brand. It's a way for them to present their unique interests surrounding previously underrepresented subcultures. And ever since 2014, Braindead has gone from simple graphic t-shirts to offering a full-fledged range of apparel, such as headwear, accessories, footwear, and more. The brand intertwines Kyle and Ed's love for all things creative. Braindead is inspired by those who consume it, and Kyle Ng and Ed Davis find inspiration from unexpected places with their extreme and unique mindsets. When it comes to each of the co-founders' roles, Ed is responsible for researching graphics, referencing and assembling his ideas and visions into a collage. Kyle then takes those initial ideas and puts them into the context of the brand. This method between the two creatives contributes to Braindead's electric nature. And while most people use language to communicate, Braindead uses visuals. These visuals are influenced by a varied melting pot of different sources, which is why it's so hard to pin down what Braindead actually is. And while the brand has gained a cult following for its own inline products, 
It's the surprising list of co-branded products and collaborations that have broadened the appeal of Braindead to a much wider audience. This idea of community created products has been a part of Braindead's DNA since the start. And in her own words, Braindead is not one person, nor is it one idea. It sits in the space between people. And as esoteric as that sounds, it's led to an impressive back catalog of link-ups within the fashion world that include Oakley, APC, and Converse, and even spread into other categories like food to furniture and sporting goods. Whatever they're working on, one thing is common across all of Braindead's projects. It always feels genuine. Braindead is staying close to the community via their growing portfolio of directly owned retail slash event spaces also. Back in 2021, they took over the historic silent movie theater space, dubbing it Braindead Studios on Fairfax Avenue. The venue screens old horror movies and indie flicks. They also host live music gigs and Slammer sells iced coffee and hot dogs. Not to mention you can buy merch there too. Which all sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, I haven't been to Cali in a few years, but as soon as I get back, I definitely want to go check it out. And in addition to the LA cinema, Braindead also produces artwork and curates art exhibitions in its flagship store in Harajuku and Silver Lake. By investing profits in the culture projects and experimental retails in event spaces like these, the collective is hoping to develop as a merch brand that's capable of standing the test of time. And whether or not they'll actually be able to do that all remains to be seen. But you gotta say, they've been doing a pretty good job so far. But what do you think? Hit us up in the comment section if you're a fan of Brain Dead. Also, if you haven't by now, then don't forget to hit that like button. Liking and sharing the video is the only way to help us grow to be one of the bigger channels here on YouTube. And as I always say, we can't do it without you guys' help. And if you want to be updated every time we drop a new video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell. This way you'll be reminded whenever a new episode drops. But with that being said, I'm Nate the Great from TakeFlight214.com signing out. Until next time, peace.